hello guys in this tutorial i will show you how to make uh, to access gimbal using arduino and gyro sensor mpu6050 and servo motors so here's the working as you can see i had mounted the gyro sensor on top of the uh, servo motor So very soon I will be making a gimbal. I've made a 3D model on Blender. So in this tutorial I will show you the code, the connection. The component required a um, one gyro sensor, Arduino, two servo motor and few jumper wires so let's start the first thing i will do is i will make the fire fold and the ground pin common on the breadboard so that i can connect in the servo motors easily as you can see i have made in the fire fold the red pin and the ground the green pin common on the breadboard here so I will connect the black one to the ground pin here, green one. The red one goes to the 5 fold and the white one will go to the digital input pin of the Arduino. So the connection will be according to the code. I have connected the jumper wires to the servo motors. So now I will connect the servo motor. So black one goes to ground. the red one second pin that will go to plus 5 volt so similarly I will connect to the next servo motor black goes to ground the red one will go to 5 volt The last pins are left to be connected is the output pin. Only the last pins are left to be connected. The input pin offers the servo motors. So, in the code, I have. Uh, so, now I will connect the last two pins on the digital pin. So, one will go to pin number 9. And the second one will go to pin number 10. The servo motor on pin number 9 will be acting on the X axis, and the servo motor which is connected on pin number 10 will be acting on the Y axis. So the red one will go to 3 volt. The red wire I have connected to 3 volt at the VCC. The black wire is ground. Ground will I will connect this to ground of the Arduino. And the SCL, the orange wire, the SCL will go to A5. Then the SDA will go to A4 pin of the Arduino. It is the analog pins. So, as you can see here, I have connected these pins to the Arduino. So the connection is done. Now I will upload the code and I will show you the output. I have uploaded the code, and as you can see here. 
the X axis and the Y axis working fine Download the code from the description below. Uh, no external libraries are required. Like and subscribe the video. And soon I will be uploading more interesting projects. Thank you for watching.